Good morning, everyone. And it's day three, three of the Oxen Farms unofficial survival food challenge. As usual, what do we got? We got maple brown sugar oatmeal. There are the instructions, directions, if you will. I do have it in my little Tupperware right here. And we're going to make it a little differently this morning than we did the last two days because they, today is the last day and you can only do so much with oatmeal. Somebody uh, gave me a bunch of guff yesterday about how microwaving food destroys all the nutrients. Yeah, I'm sure all of the nutrients were destroyed. All right, guys, uh, before we get into it, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. And um, if you are a uh, Patreon, good morning. If you're interested in the Patreons, I'll leave a link below. And... Let's get into it. So we got some water boiling and um, well, we could use a campfire, we could use a microwave, we could do anything we wanted to heat that water up. But just for that one dude, I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water. And uh, so now we're just going to, I'm gonna go ahead and make a full half a cup. And as you can see, there's plenty of this stuff left, even though I've been eating a reasonable amount. Let's see, we're gonna call that half a cup. There we go. There's still lots and lots and lots of food. I'm going to take that little clump of flavoring right there. Lots of food left. Lots of food left. I guess we're going to now mix our hot water in. And you're saying, LP, you did this three days in a row. Exactly, because that's what you do in a survival situation. You do everything three days in a row. All right, uh, I'm going to move this camera real quick so I can get a spoon out of this drawer. There we go. Now we're back here. And we're just going to mix it all together. Don't need that anymore. I'm going to let that set for a minute. Because the water was boiling. Put that back inside there. There's still lots. There's still at least maybe one or two more servings in here. Easily. All right, looks like it's starting to thicken up. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We'll move that over. There we go. Wait for it to thicken just a little, little bit. And these were actually the uh, exact measurements. So it's, it's looking a little bit milky, but... That's okay. It'll thicken right up. You leave it to cool, it'll thicken right up. You can see where it's starting to thicken right there. All right. So for today's breakfast, what I'm going to do is we're going to use a little bit of Mrs. Buttersworth. We're going to make, we're going to, we're going to Gordon Ramsay the hell out of this thing. There we go. Now we have a nice crazy design. We get this. Get ourselves a pat of butter. We can, yeah. Uh, it never works out. The butter never works out. All right, guys. And there's our our semi gourmet Gordon Ramsay worthy oatmeal. All righty, guys. That's where I'm having for breakfast. So this is day three. Still no, nothing going on in the guts, just like normal, which is really cool. Turn it down just a little. There we go. Um, lots of energy. Still lots of food left. Very surprising how much food is left in this 72-hour kit. This was a 72-hour kit for one person. Uh, I had some, uh, some, still some complaints about how it wouldn't be great for backpacking or for a bug-out bag. Well, you know, Ziploc bags, dude. It, it's pretty simple. Ziploc bags. Do the homework. If you're in the military, you know what I'm talking about. You would have to preset all of your MREs anyway. You'd strip them of all the stuff that they didn't need or you didn't want. You'd put them in Ziploc bags or you would just put them back into, into their original uh, a container bag with all the, the crazy stuff gone. You'd prep your food. Oh, that sounds familiar. Prepping your food. All right, guys. I think that's going to be about it. As usual, hit that like and subscribe button, and um, I shall see you at lunch. 
Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, at lunch, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.